Merry Christmas everybody and welcome to a brand new edition, a very special edition of Swansea Beat. Welcome back everybody to Swansea Beat. Appreciate all the support. If you like this video, share this video, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, at Swansea Beat, on Facebook, that'd be great. My name is Dustin Rubio. I'm Alex Thomas. I'm Anna Humphreys. So in this very Christmas edition of Swansea Beat, we're gonna do something that we haven't done before on this page, this channel. We're gonna talk about, in our opinions, the best Swansea City player of all time. So obviously we're coming from three different opinions, three bi very biased opinions. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna kick it off with Dustin. Dustin, who is your best Swansea player of all time? Schechter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy? Yes. No. Um, Awful. I'm going for... It, he, he had a, a short term mm. in Swansea. I think short I career. Been, okay. But man, was it a great career. <laughs> and if we listen quietly, we can hear all the fans <laughs> in their hearts. Spectacular return, but due to injury... They had to retire, and it's Michu. Michu. Michu oh. is, Michu for me, in my opinion... The good old days. <laughs> is the best, yeah. In when, my, we, when we could finish. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, how about this? I, I, yeah, that's that's my best player. We'll okay. go around, and then we'll just kind of... Um, okay. Yeah. Unpack that. Yeah. Okay. So, for me, I have gone for a defender I really miss. <laughs> Ashley Williams. He's not amazing at Everton, but at Swansea he was a great defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss him when we had a true captain in our team. Mm. Come back, Ashley. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Yeah. Yes. Adam. And my favourite player, the man to pay the bills and Scott Skills, is Lee Trundle. Ooh. Oh. Honourable Lee mention to Lee Trundle. Trundle. Mm. Okay. So, we're going to delve right into yeah, yeah. Meet yeah. you. Me too, right. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think he just he was one of those players. Like he was a player that could change a game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I now don't don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he is like a Messi Ronaldo Suarez or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But those type of players, they just need a couple chances and they yeah. can change a whole game. And I felt like for our standards or for non-big money teams, I felt like Michu was that guy. Yeah. I felt like all he needed was, uh, like we've had players, and again, respect to Danny Graham, you know, he was a scrapper, he was a grinder, he worked hard, <laughs> but he needed about 14 mm. chances, you know, yeah. shots in order to score one. Yeah. And sometimes that was over multiple games, you know, yeah. for him to score. Yeah. You know, you got Boney, he might need, I don't know. Seven yeah, yeah, he might need. Was say no. <laughs> but, but, but when Boney was in his prime with us, yeah. you know, like he needed about four or five, you know, maybe five or six, maybe the seven, yeah. but less than 10. Yeah. Um, and I felt like for Michu, he just needed to touch the ball, like with a shot, one or two times. Yeah, yeah. And that was it. Like, that's all he needed, and he was mm -hmm. going. And I felt like it was something special off of his very first goal. Do you remember that? Well, wearing, the red, wearing the red kit. QPR. And the ball just goes in there. It's literally one shot. Was it his left foot? Left. Yeah. Left, left foot, foot, just curled it. Boom. And so right away, I just thought, with that mm -hmm. technique, how good he was. I'm like, man, we are in for a season, mm -hmm. and what a season we had. And even over his 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 career, what was it? Two two seasons? Two. Well, I think the first season was yeah, two seasons altogether. Yeah. Then he went up to Napoli. Then, yeah, yeah. Because even in his mm -hmm. second season, that's where we won. Was it the second season we won? Um, the Capital Cup was, no, it first it was the first season. first season. In the first season, right. So that first season, mm -hmm. and I felt like even though it was short, it wasn't as long as Ashley Williams or, or Lee Trundle, but yeah. I felt like for that, for me, like if you can imagine if we could have held on to him yeah. and, and he never got injured, um, you know, or had whatever his problem was with his ankle, mm -hmm. excuse me, I feel like what a player. Yeah. What a player. I mean, we had... You know, there were the likes of Arsenal, different people looking at him. There were talks of that. And it's not to say that, like, you know, we never had players where, you know, because we had Boney and Man City's yeah, yeah, connection. Yeah. But I felt like for him, I felt like, you know, he was amazing. I mean, even even with him, with us at, at that time, he did so well. Mm. Well, he was able to do, some would say, the impossible yeah. was to get into the Spanish team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Think about that Spanish team back then. It's insane was incredible. Yeah. I mean, you think about some of the players that never got a chance to make it into the Spanish team. 
because it's so jam packed. And, and yeah, he didn't go on the main big stage yeah. of it, but he was able to break through. And I felt like, man, me too. Everybody just, yeah. oh, I mean, so what a player. What a player. Like, I've only, like, for me, I don't go to the Swans games like all that. But I remember going to one. It was an FA Cup game against Arsenal. I think we drew 2 2. That's correct. And Michu just came on. And literally within three or four touches, he chipped it over the goalkeeper. And that was his first shot. I was like, yeah. Man, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, let me just say this. Maybe I should have prefaced with this. But let me just say this. I, I, I know that. People might not say um, meet you because of there's not a lot of nostalgia about him. There's not much time. Yeah. There's not a lot of you know kind of this you know this romance. Yeah. You know uh, with football, you think of certain players and you're kind of like there's this kind of you romanticize in a sense about this is yeah. this is our guy. You know, yeah. and because it's so short. But when we're talking about the best player, mm. you know, ability, mm. you know, like I mean that guy was amazing he was a workhorse you know it, he worked hard he wasn't even the fastest but it was man. just that season where we just every team we faced they all knew mm -hmm. if they feast and meet you they were in danger of conceding yep. yeah. Yeah, I think yep. that was a huge thing mm. uh, you know sadly got injured yeah um, sadly you know but even that. leading up to that remember leading up to it um even before he got injured, because I felt like the injury came at a Europa game. Remember, he was like kicking, he scored, and he started kicking the side. Yeah. And it was almost like, it just, I mean, it's just, you know, uh, uh, just a theory. Yeah. But after that, it was almost as if, like, you know, like that was it. It was downhill. Yeah. But leading up to that, he was still on his scoring spree. Like, he was yeah. just, for me, I felt like, yeah. man, we could beat anybody, even with him back then. Remember, I just felt like mm. we could go to anybody's doorstep into their backyard mm. And we could we could pull off a victory, yeah, man. He was only two million pounds. Yes, yes. Come on, yes. Come on. <laughs> the best player. That's seriously. We've had some great players. Yeah. And maybe after this, we can talk about honorable mentions. Our honorable mentions of who we yeah. think it is. But that's my case. Yeah. Me too. Mm. Okay. Mm. So my argument for Ashley Williams. Mm. I think he's obviously been around for a very long time. He came in when he was in League One. Came from Stockport. One of the cheapest transfers and one of the best transfers we've ever made. I don't know, it's just the way he developed it. He obviously didn't start off as captain. He was a young dude. I, th I don't know how old he was. He was about, I don't know, 22, 21 or something when he came he in? 23. Like, uh, something like that. that. You know, something stupidly young. And just break it into the Swan Squad story. I know we were League One and we didn't have a men. You know, those are the dudes like Dennis Lawrence and all those sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, those atrocious defenders, yeah. you know. But I think. He just brought something special. I, I don't know what it was. I think, especially at that time when we had Martinez coming in as well, mm -hmm. I just felt like he adapted to that game phenomenally. Like he would mm -hmm. just took control of defense. Like, you know, him and Monk was one of the best partnerships mm -hmm. I could ever dream of. Like every, every time I went to a game, I was like, I don't think we're going to concede. Mm -hmm. I, 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 every time I went there. And uh, again, my biggest memory of him, playoff final, just, you know, Monk making a stupid block. That was amazing. And just his defensive performance is incredible. In the Premier League as well, mm. everyone remembers him kicking the ball at Robin Van Persie. Yeah, Dallas. he could have killed him though. Yeah. <laughs> he could have killed him. <laughs> no, that's one of my fondest memories. <laughs> yeah. of that. that was great. Yeah. You know, and obviously, even not just for Swans as well, for Wales as well. You know, we'll never yeah. forget his goal against Belgium. But yeah. no one will. Like, you know, yeah. that, that header, everyone just went nuts. But, yeah, I think, and he was just easily one of the best captains we've ever had mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone says they can just be like oh what about Leon what about you know all these guys I would mm -hmm. just say no Ashley Williams yeah, yeah, like yeah. Mm -hmm. you know you can say Monk whatever like you know but if I wanted to pick a captain to have in an all time Swan squad it'd be Williams mm -hmm. yeah. he was just so good like yeah, like and he's a beast. Yeah. Like yeah. now, now he's now he's, <laughs> now he's a bit out of shape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, then he just had jack muscles. Yeah. And he missed yeah. what was it, two games in like five seasons or six seasons, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Something really stupid. And yeah. I was just like, man, to have that fitness mm -hmm. to, to do that day in and I mean, day out. Even for six even years. what about a year ago? Remember when he he jacked up his shoulder oh, for yeah. Wales? Yeah, and, and he was going. just telling them, yelling at at the side, being like, yeah. "No, I don't want to be substituted." Yeah. I mean, it says a lot about the dude's mm -hmm. toughness and his grit. Yeah, you know, you know, and you know, we can say all we want to him at Everton now, but he's still a good player. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, yeah. and I feel like if I ever want to, once want to play a back out of like you know the Joe Allens and all that mm, I'd yeah. say I'd, in their prime yeah I'd mm. say Williams yeah. Yeah. all day long yeah, yeah. yes so okay. Lee Trundle yeah hey, hey. the beast <laughs> yeah. but 
like I said, when he came, you know, came to Swansea, and, you know, at the time, he was one of the few strikers we've never really seen before. Like, you know, he, we've seen, you know, we've seen uh, players that, you know, can shoot, you know, head, you know, header, you know, yeah. run, you know, but with him, he's, he's just a very um, different player, you know, you know, the skills that, you know, got a lot of attention, like oh, soccer, yeah. AM, you know, yeah. was just mind blowing, yeah. you know. And I think that's what got Swansea, you know, forward because we were getting a lot of media attention and a lot of Swansea mm. fans would come into the bench yeah. field. I think and, where yeah. we got put on the map sort of thing because of Lee Trundle sort of thing. Yeah. It seemed very marketable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think as well with our success that besides his skills, his goals were yeah. top notch really. Mm. You know, like the Carlisle game, the Yeovil game, you know, you know, you know 50 yards, you know. You know, yeah. left foot, you know, found <laughs> it did, yeah. So, um, but like I said, I do miss, you know, you know, Lee Trundle. I mean, even in his second season, you know, he didn't get a lot of game, you know, you know, you know, a lot of game time when he returned. Mm. But, um, but he's still, you know, the same, same Lee Trundle. So, yeah. yeah. I think as soon as he returned, I think it wasn't even the case of we want goals. I think it was just like a legend has returned sort of mm. thing. It was mm. just like. Oh, it, it was like when Henri returned to Arsenal you were like mm-hmm. he wasn't going to deliver the same goals as he did yeah. but you just wanted to see his face on that kit again you're just yeah. like yes Lee Trundle's back mm, yeah. uh, fact that he had a great goal record um, but yeah so moving on honourable mentions honourable mentions yes. right. I, I've got yes, mine I got mine and you got yours Dustin let's go back to rotation right. who's your honourable mention right I'm gonna go with a guy oh. close to like Sigerson, needed a couple chances okay. and could make a difference in games. Pazuela? <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, I tell you what, if we had a like, we were doing a kind of a category of a, of a, of a sleeper yeah. sort of player that kind of got away mm-hmm. and could have been good, Pazuelo, I'm telling mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. but that's, a, that's for a different episode. But I'm gonna go with Gilfie, Gilfie? Sigerson, yeah. the Icelandic, ice in his veins, Genius. free kick specialist. Mm-hmm. And just an amazing creative player. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go with I'll go with Gilfie. Mm. Okay. My honorable mention is going back to the League One days of Ferry Bode. I Bode. one of my favorite <laughs> players that yeah. ever stepped foot in this one's uh, stadium. One of my favorite players. But Adam? It's, it's gonna be a lot very hard. Um well I'm gonna go for, you know, one of our Swansea's, you know, favourite players. Okay. Scott Sinclair. Ooh, mm. Scott Sinclair. Scotty Sinclair. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, but right. Before let's... before we actually get into this, let's give a little shout out to a few players. I want to say Jason Scotland. Right. Mm-hmm. Another one. Leon Britton, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I'd say mm-hmm. Alan Tate. For me. John Joe Shelby? No. Right. Oh, so let me just, let's just back up real fast. Okay. Because yeah. it seems like we stepped into a new category. Yes. It's not honorable mentions of best player we've yeah. gone into favorite player yeah, yeah. okay which is completely different yeah. well, because i get i get some of these throwbacks yeah of players but it's kind of like even in their prime could they yeah. perform but my the my honorable mention Bode, not just because he's my favorite player but i feel like he is one of the best mm. but his career was cut short yeah but okay. yes anyways okay right right, right. So okay I just, gilfie sigurdsson gilfie sigurdsson i think he's been one of our best players i think um not necessarily even just how much we sold him for but i feel like that was his value yeah um i felt like yeah even nationally mm-hmm. i think their success they've had even though he might not have shown up in the euros and done amazing things but they even qualified based on his free kicks and the things yeah. he had done um, he would be very similar to to uh, a Ronaldo of Portugal, you know, like uh, Zlatan of, of Sweden. You know, yeah, he yeah. is the guy for that team. Not to disrespect the rest of the um, Iceland players, yeah. but I think for us, even looking at this last season, I mean, he just if if he is not scoring free kicks and creating stuff, he is working hard. The mm-hmm. guy is not going to stop. Yeah. You know. Um, and I feel like one of my favorite games, and I watched this game, I recorded it because um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to, to see it until afterwards. And this was probably about mm, two seasons ago, and they played against Arsenal. Do you remember that? And we were we played, and it was in the Liberty, yeah. and I think we were down. 
I think yeah. we were losing 1-0 yeah, cool. and came back to win 2-1. Do you remember yeah, that? Remember that? And Gilfie well, had that free kick. Was that yeah. when Gomi scored as well? Yeah, yeah. a minute later. I yeah. mean, it was just insane. And that just showed like his his ability just yeah. to be like, look. And it's not even so much about his, his free kick because, you know, it's more than just that, you yeah. know. I feel like he is a complete player. Yeah. I feel like if he needs to defend, he will work hard. And I'm not saying he's the best defender, but I feel like he is an all-around good player. Yeah. And I feel like if you put him in the middle of the pitch, if he has to track back, he will track back. Mm. But I feel like where he's going to shine is in the midfield creating stuff mm. or going forward. Do you remember that? Do you remember the last season? that assist he had. He's falling over and just completely sweeps it over to the left. I think, who was it to? Was it Carroll? And I think it ended up being, um, I forgot who it was, but I remember he had this really, really good. And do you remember the, the goal he had as well last season where he was falling over? He was kind of like falling yeah. and he kind of like hooks it in there and scores. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the guy is just, his, you know, and those are those sort of uh, uh, um, things about a player you just really can't teach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just, he, there's just something about him that's really good. He's not the fastest. He doesn't even really look the most athletic. But I think his his work ethic, I, I think, and you know maybe his dedication and, and you know the practice, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, shown him. And for me, I feel like man, we've had some great players. Mm -hmm. We've had some good players. But I feel like he is almost going into another category of a complete player that we've had. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying he could just do a lot. I mean. Yeah, anyways, that is my honorable mention. Okay, so my honorable mention, Ferry Bode. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to smile, but yeah. <laughs> Ferry Bode, man, just watching him play was yeah. phenomenal. Like, honestly, every time I went to a Swans game in the Liberty and had Ferry Bode play, it was just the way he dictated play. Because he was a, not a cam, he wasn't a CDM, he was just centre of the field, mm. just there. Mm. And it, it, he just had a wide variety of things he could do. Very much like a Siggy, he was a box-to-box -box midfielder, capable of stupid long shots. Mm. Like I remember against Plymouth when he scored from the halfway line. It was ridiculous. I think it was Plymouth anyways. It was something like that. I was going to say Preston, but yeah. Was it Preston? Yeah, Preston. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yards. yeah. yeah. I, my memory's terrible. But I remember half close, close enough. enough. Yeah. Close yeah. enough. So. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I think Obviously, injuries, I think, set him back. Obviously, he had to retire. Now he's in mm. Den Haag. Or, well, he was there a couple of weeks ago in the Liberty. Yeah. Um, mm. But, yeah, I just feel like his all-round game was amazing. I think he was just a fan favourite. Like, even though people, you know, that you wouldn't think of him when you're in League One. You're just like, oh, he's all right. Ferry Bode, a decent midfielder. But I don't think people knew. It's like skulls. Like, even though people look at his stats and think oh he's terrible mm -hmm. but you didn't watch him to know how good he was on the mm -hmm. field yeah. like I think Bode was like that you just don't know how good he is until yeah. you actually watch a game mm -hmm. and see what he does like it's like Kante people didn't appreciate him until he won the league with Leicester you just knew mm -hmm. how good he was off the ball yeah. you know mm -hmm. it, it was crazy but yeah that's my okay. argument yeah. my honorable mention alright Scott yeah. Sinclair yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and this is the thing with Swans I would love Swansea to get, you know, to get Scott Sinclair, but like I said, it's ne that's never going to happen. Yeah. yeah. But if we did, like I said, if we did have a player like Scott Sinclair, you know, you know, he, you know, he would drive us, you know, going forward. Mm. He had tons, you know, had tons of skills. You know, he could score great. I mean, can score great goals from twenty five yards. Mm. And like again, like Matthew, you can only, like I said, he can score like two shots and it's in. Simple mm. as that, really. And yeah. And like again, the game against Red Red in that you know, like I said, without these goals we wouldn't be you know in the Premier League. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's a fact. You know, so he was a phenomenal player, especially on the season when we came up to the Premier League, I think. He was so skillful and some of his shots were ridiculous. I, I remember a few like finesse shots. He did like an iron robin cut inside mm. shot yeah. and it's in the top corner, yeah. he was like, What can you do? And even in the Premier League his impact was great, mm. you know. As much as we, yeah. you know, sometimes be like, oh, he left the Man City, what a douche. Mm. You know, yeah. I think mm. you can't deny how good he was. It's like mm. singing, you can't deny how good he was. Yeah. You, you cannot deny. Right. So we've been quite um, gentleman-like in this, <laughs> yeah. but I'm going to disagree. You know, I'm not oh, saying he's yeah. not a bad player mm. at all. Mm. I think it would be more fitting if we said, who was our best championship player? <laughs> I think, I think then... Okay. He could be brought in there. Because yeah. I feel like even in the Premier League, I felt like 
he was a good I, and I used to call him the penalty yeah. boy. Yeah. I felt like he got he, goals because yeah. a lot of penalties. Yeah. He was great penalties. Yeah. Exactly. But I felt yeah. like when we got to the Premier League, I felt like he is not the one that kept us up in that first season. Yeah. I felt it's like fair. it was yeah. defensive, you yeah. know, the yeah. monks, the you know, I mean we even had tape back then, you know. Yeah. Isn't that crazy how long we've been in the Premier League? Yeah. Um well, it's uh, to go now. I know, <laughs> no, I don't I didn't even want to say it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like he is a good player. Mm. And I'm glad for him now in 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 Scotland, yeah. because I feel like, mm. yeah, I feel like the Premier League, it just for some people it's just it's just too Not much. Yeah. And I feel like for him, he is good, but he's been at a, a few different clubs yeah. with a few different yeah. managers. And I feel like even with us, when we went up, I think we recognized right we need to get proper mm. Premier League players, mm. you know, because I I wasn't I wasn't sad to see him go because yeah. I thought. I, I'm just not convinced. We need to make room for for new players to come in. But he is a good shout if we go championship or we appreciation yeah. for certain players. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, you want to appreciate him, um, you know, and the hard work, you know, and, yeah. and, and the goals that he got yeah. then. But yeah. but yeah, I that's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, it's fair enough. I think I think people will still argue mm. about your guilty case. Somewhere. You know, I agree completely how amazing he was. Mm-hmm. Like, he was a phenomenal player, mm-hmm. you know. But peop- I-, I know a lot of people would disagree just based on the longevity of how long he was at the club. How, yeah. you know, how, you know, he's only seen what, four seasons or something? Like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's on loan for one and then two or three seasons. They would have probably more of an argument than if, if in that case, with me too, <laughs> he's me too, was there a lot of <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But again, we are talking about the best player. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. best player. Which again, I think whether we start yeah. setting up certain parameters of, of what does that mean, think, you know, I'm just thinking about the player. Yeah, He's yeah. there, what did he yeah. do, who was the best player we had, whether that was one season, two seasons, four seasons, yeah. or, or ten seasons. Yeah. And I feel like mm-hmm. Michu, for me, I feel like it's not even debatable. Now, we've had good players, you know, mm-hmm. we've had good players. But I feel like with Michu, I feel like that was something different, you yeah. know? And then, and I think we all knew it yeah. then, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and then I think with Gilfie, yeah, I feel like people could disagree, maybe like a bad breakup, we're bitter still, yeah. because the way things happen. Yeah. But I feel like for me, I feel like, yeah, I was mad, but I, I more blame the board yeah, with even yeah. allowing it to go that long or you should have got let him let him let him go as soon as he decided not to go yeah. on that on that that preseason tour but yeah but for me i feel like when we're talking about the best player i think gilfie yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah. if, if we had to pick our, our starting 11 that's a different episode yeah, yeah. but if we had to pick our favorite episode i'm thinking me too and gilfie all day you know what i'm saying okay yeah. so moving on from players we're going to managers. Okay. And this yep. is something yep. that we've had a, quite a good few managers and good mm. ones yes. over the last, I don't know, 10 years. We've had yep. some decent ones come in. I w- we're going to pick one manager. And then we'll do an honorable mention? We can. Okay. But I think we all have the same idea, yeah. I think, in our head. Of, okay. I, I have a feeling we yeah. have the same idea. I think we have... If we did the top three, I think we would have the same top three, but yeah. in order, how would we list yeah. them as a different thing? So, I'll go first. Okay. My all-time manager is Roberto Martinez. Okay. Right. I will go with... People are going to be like, this American guy's like history of swans yeah. is like that long. Yeah. But again, I think when you're talking about best, I think... It's and, and Bob I guess, Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Um, I, I think it depends on how we, how we, uh, I guess, define the question. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the big thing. You know what I'm saying? Again, it, it's going to be hard for people who are going to to the vetch field and, and stuff like yeah. that. They're again, they're going to romanticize. They're going to have some nostalgia yeah. about certain certain yeah. things. They will remember a time. I, but for me, go for sorry, it. I was going to make a quick disclaimer for all the old timers. <laughs> we we're, we're very young, and you you don't know Swan's yeah. history that much. So for us, we can't really say, mm-hmm. oh, you know, Alan Curtis is an amazing player. We know that, but we wasn't there to see it. So we yeah. can't really argue the case. Mm. So this is why we're going for like 
what we know of League yeah. One and all that, mm-hmm. and you're going for Premier League, yeah. And yeah. Championship. I mean, I I started following Swans nine years ago. I mean, it's close to yeah. a decade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then we would have some probably people that are watching now that have lived in Swansea. Live in football families, but probably didn't really start paying attention until yeah. we got into the Premier League, where I was yeah. going to championship games, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. things like that. And I had to yeah. learn yeah. based on my yeah. in-laws. That was the yeah. language they spoke, Swans. But yeah, so just a quick disclaimer yeah. that you know, for old timers, and that's we, fine. Yeah. you know, mm. we weren't there to actually see these old players. You know, mm. if we were there, we may have made a claim for them, but mm. since we haven't seen them, we can't really argue mm. for them. And on the yeah. flip side of that. Just because they are old school in a sense mm-hmm. doesn't mean they are the best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all those conference managers, players, and League mm-hmm. One, League Two doesn't mean they mm-hmm. would cut. Because we yeah. are, it's a different. Yeah. I think when we start going back to who's your favorite, yeah. who, who's the most I think, loved, or whatever, that's a different. But category. I think older people would be like maybe in the eighties, just going like, oh, when we were in Division One, you know, we had like a James Livingstone or something like that. Yeah, you know? see. It's just like. Yeah, I, I wasn't even alive in the eighties yeah. to know. Yeah. So, but anyways, yeah. let's get back onto it. Right, yeah. Adam, who is your favorite manager or best manager of all time in Swans? Who's the best manager mm. in your opinion? It's it's it's, it's, like, it's, it's a hard, very hard question. Paulo Souza. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that. I mean, no, no, that's <laughs> all that. Uh, but um, I'm gonna go with Lundrup. Lundrup. Yep. Me. So I'm going for large trap as well. Yeah. So it's two v one here. All right, yeah. Then bring it. I'll take you all. On. Right. Right. All right. Okay. So reasoning for my picking, I think it's bad, very obvious in what I'm gonna say. He's the one that kickstarted the Swansea way. I think mm-hmm. if you can't see on camera, he has a Barcelona mug over there. And we had a nickname when Martinez hey. came in called Swansea Loner. Yes. Due to so. our incredible passing ability. Mm. Yeah. Thanks to Martinez. And I feel mm. like as soon as he came in, no one could touch us in the lower mm. league. I felt like we dominated possession. Mm. We played like Barcelona. We were up in the championship. And there was no one saying Swans are going to get relegated in the first season of the championship. I don't remember any pundit saying that because of the way he played. Mm-hmm. You know, we had honourable mentions from Premier League clubs constantly being like, "Yeah, they, you know, they play amazing football." Mm-hmm. And I feel like Martinez is what kickstarted it all. I think yeah. without him, we wouldn't be where we're at today. Yeah, mm-hmm. honestly, you know, I think mm-hmm. it, it. I can't see any other person who could have came in in League One. Obviously, you know, obviously he was a player for us. He was our captain as well, and I think. It was just his relationship with the players at the time as well that just made him like, yeah, we're going to play some nice passing football. Mm-hmm. And we had the players back then. Yeah. Because, you know, we had, I'm trying to think of the League One players now, I think at the time a striker, Gorka Bentado. You know, we had some questionable players. I'm pretty sure Wayne Tudor Jones was there back at the time. Mm-hmm. Britton, Andy Robinson. You know, players who weren't fast, but they had good passing abilities, so it just suited us brilliantly. Mm-hmm. And, and it takes a, a very good footballing mind to think of that. Mm-hmm. And for him to do that, without him, we'd be screwed. Even though he's not doing amazing at the moment. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was at Belgium at the moment, I believe. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, for what he did at Swans was unquestionably amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of loud drip, boys. Yeah, wish, wish Kick you. us off. <laughs> Kick us off. Well, that's it. Where should we start? Bring it in. Well, like I said, I mean, without loud drip, we were when I said. Again, we win have won the League Cup. Mm. So, I, I mean, like I said. That's say, it. Like I said, no, <laughs> Argument no, done. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. but, it's, but like you said, I mean, the way that we've won the League Cup final, besides Bradford, <laughs> I mean, look at the results that we won against Liverpool, Chelsea. I mean, oh, remember when it has kicked the ball, boy? Yeah. That's great. And yeah. it was an honourable mention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just... I think we, like I said, this is what we're missing this season. It just we're missing that attacking style, you know, lovely passing, mm-hmm. you know, six hundred passes, but you know, it's a stupid amount. But you know, the one thing I would agree with you on with Loudrop is that I felt like the transfers he made was his. Yeah, like guaranteed. Like yeah. when you look at the players, like at the Guzman, mm-hmm. you have Pazuelo, oh, like okay. like you know, you look at all those players, like Chico Flores. You know, you look at yeah. all those people he brought in. I'm just like, our board wouldn't have thought of that. Like, yeah. they wouldn't have thought yeah. of these foreign players coming in. Yeah. Or a meet you. Yeah. Like, who yeah. would have thought of a meet you? Like, yeah. you know, except Loudra. Yeah. And I'm just yeah. like, it's fair play to him. Yeah. That's what I was going to bring up, was, yeah. the, was the transfer. Like, yeah. I, I feel like my argument would be like, if we look back 
and we've had some good football. We've played some good football. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when we played our most complete football, mm -hmm. where there wasn't just a slick passing, you know, and sometimes you see Barcelona do that. I'm a big Barcelona fan. But sometimes you see them um, when they're passing, it's like nowhere to go, right? We'll go all yeah. the way back. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go all the way forward, nowhere to go, <laughs> all the way back. But I think, and sometimes, you know, yeah. Swans yeah. will do that, you know, and you see Arsenal do that as well. But I think the time where it's kind of like, yeah, we're going up there, look, direct yeah. attack, yeah. you know, I think was under Laudrop. Mm -hmm. And you think of, he made really good players who were like, who? Mm. De Guzman? <laughs> like, I was a big De Guzzi fan. Mm -hmm. Like, I really liked him. Yeah. And then you had, like, your Chico Floreses, you know? Mm. Like, yeah. he brought in good players. Pozuelo, again, one that got away. I feel like he, he would have been really good. Pablo Hernandez. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. I just felt like, on, on, a, on a side note, I felt like he was just never yeah. played in his right position mm. because there was a better player there, which was Michu. Yeah. I felt like if he was right in the middle, his vision, I felt like he was really good. But he would always play, was it on the left? Or on the right, he'd always yeah, play on the wing, left. which which I which I feel like. But under Laudrop, I mean, I, I felt like the reason why this whole th that whole fairy tale came to an end was because, again, the board. I felt like yeah. maybe the, and the stuff you just hear, yeah, yeah. but they didn't like that he had so much, and his yeah. agent. I think they didn't like that his agent was uh, rumors have uh, was his agent had a lot to do with the transfers. Yeah. And I think after that whole thing came to an end and it was kind of an ugly end, remember he held the press conference afterwards, mm -hmm. um, that that's where Hugh kind of came in and yeah. like nobody's doing, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in charge. Uh, and again, we don't know that, but mm -hmm. obviously we could see a lot has changed since then because he yeah, was one of the yeah, managers yeah. who mm -hmm. completely uh, changed things out. But yeah, I would say, you know, he, he brought in mm -hmm. a lot of players that had to compete. Remember Kenneth? Oh, I was like, remember that? Yeah. Me remember he? I mean, what players who came in mm -hmm. and you had to compete. You know, mm -hmm. he brought in some players, and I felt like he got them performing. I felt like they wanted to play for him. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they wanted to just to, they wanted to, I don't know, maybe just kind of prove something to this yeah. this yeah. icon of a player. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Who was good for you know himself as as a player. But anyways, that that would be my opinion and yeah. my argument of why I feel like he's been our best manager. Again, it's really short, but we're talking about yeah, the, the best. best. And I felt yeah, like yeah. in that, I felt like we could have went to we could have rolled up to any stadium against any team and we were we we were ready. We were yeah. ready to go. And did we beat didn't we beat um, a couple Teams in Europa under uh, him. Valencia three 0 Valencia three 0 gave Napoli a good mm -hmm. run for their money, yeah. but then that's yeah. when it, things were coming to an end, yeah. almost yeah. as if like there was already yeah. some yeah. stuff happening. But look how good they were playing, yeah. you know, like. And that's what we're missing, really. Mm. Okay, so I think we're going to go for the, all the same honorable mention. Well, I think we will in Brendan Rodgers. Yep. I think we cannot deny. We cannot leave the person mm. actually the Premier League. I just changed mine. What to Bob? No, nope. <laughs> no, nope. Alan Curtis. Alan, okay. Alan Curtis. I, I know he's not. He's not. But he has been technically. Mm. He has been our manager. Can't take a manager. Couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which and I feel like I feel like, I feel like okay, it, it, okay, okay. Maybe and I'm going off topic of not yeah. our best. Yeah. yeah. But maybe I'm gonna pull one of your guys. Maybe it's a little bit of the 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 favorite. Or for me, I feel like he's been kind of that yeah. that guy who has stepped in when things were just not great, yeah. and he managed mm -hmm. to get a result. Like yeah. even now, I wouldn't mind him coming in and being yeah. like, "All right, Paul, see you, man. Thanks, appreciate all your different stuff." But let's get Alan Curtis and see if he yeah. can get these guys performing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd give him an honorable mention. Yeah. You know, I think things like that when he says there's been such a changeover. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only one that knows where the kettle's at. <laughs> you know, yeah. things like that, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get a little nostalgic. Yeah. That's a good say, on, on Alan Curtis. Yeah. A, yeah. a good honorable mention. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously, for me, I've got to go with Brendan. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> two, two and one. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think because obviously he is the guy who brought us up the Premier League. He brought in some good players obviously Scott Sinclair our, as you would mm. quote our best championship player yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know I think he brought in didn't he bring in Gilfie is it on loan uh, on, on, on loan yeah he's the one to put on the map for you us. know and I think you know in his you know God's promoted in his first season after Paolo Souza declared we, we wouldn't even get promoted to the Premier League in five seasons and the season he left Brendan came in and got us promoted because mm -hmm. he left for Leicester, yeah. I believe, and he and was then, like, "I'll yeah. get promoted," and they ended up doing quite badly. And well, then I thought he went to. Yeah. Uh, I mm -hmm. thought he went to Hull. No, no Leicester, no, Leicester. Leicester. Yeah, because yeah. okay. oh. he felt they had more potential. But really? obviously, yeah. we got promoted, so yeah. jokes on him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lol. But 
Yeah, I feel like Brendan, even in his first season in the Premier League, we ended 11th. And mm. he, you know, it was just the way we played. Yeah, mm. he, I just loved how he continued Martinez's tactics. I mm. just feel like he, you know, he knew how to work each player in. He made, I think he made Williams into a Premier League player. Yeah. Honestly, I, mm. if, I, if I had to pick a manager who actually developed a player amazingly, mm. it was Rodgers for Williams. Well, something I would say for Brendan Rodgers is his man management skills mm. are, is incredible. I mean, yeah. Gerard had, had talked about yeah. that, you know, like, you know, even after he left us, went to Liverpool, mm-hmm. I mean, that was something people would say about him was, yeah. was you, you know, know he was in the league with Liverpool as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, Gerard slipping, but hey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah. 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 I think I would. Yeah. I think I, I, think I, I would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Nah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. That was fun. Yeah, let's yeah. wrap this up. Right. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you all agreed with me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying your Christmas and uh, your Boxing Day whenever you're catching this. Have a, have a good new year and hopefully we get some good um, transfers in, in the in the new year. Transfer window and uh, come on swans. Yeah.